Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Dana. I upload a new video at least once a week, and whenever I can, I like to add in an extra or two. So now is a great time to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, so that you can stay on top of all of my new videos. So when we started quarantine, I made a rule for myself that I wasn't going to buy any new tea because I wanted to drink through the tea that I already had. Um, I wanted to condense down my tins before I even think to buy another tea. So I did that and I got rid of a bunch of tins and I actually got to the point where I was like drinking teas every day that like weren't really what I wanted, you know, because of course we all have our favorites. And I really had like drank through all my favorites. So I got to the point I was trying to get to and I gave myself permission to buy some teas. But even before that, um, I started an Instagram account where I just post pictures of tea, like stylized, pretty photos of cups of tea and loose tea and things like that. And brands actually started to reach out to me and ask if they could send me tea. So I have a lot here in this haul that I got for free as well, but I did make a few purchases. So I thought it would be fun to show you guys the haul, of course, but also like some of the tins I've emptied out, I wanna refill them. So it would be kind of fun to like refill them together, I guess. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I'm gonna start off with the things I got for free. So these I already drank through, but I got two teas from a brand called Bahati Tea that I met on Instagram, and they're super awesome. Um, this one was called Greener on the other side, and it's a green tea with rosemary, sage, safflower, rose petals, lemon, and rose flavor. And then there was another one from them that I, I also drank through really fast called Lavender Dreams. And I think it was the most powerful like sleepy time tea I've ever had. And then another one that's like not pictured, um, like not pictured in this haul is Gracious Tea. They sent me a really nice, adorable package of tea. So I'll link my video from that in the description so you guys can check that out because they put them in like little tiny glass bottles with like a cork. So it looked like the Drink Me potions from Alice in Wonderland and it was just precious. Then I met this brand called True Honey Teas and they sent me a surprise package with two different teas. One's called Lavender Lemonade and I actually put it already, I couldn't resist, I put it in a tin up here. And the other one was this one, Ginger Lemon Zest. And by this time, we are all out of this one. My husband loved it, I really enjoyed it. But then, they enjoyed my review, so they sent me a ton more tea, which is crazy. Um, my favorite thing they sent was this cute little box. And this had uh, Mountain Peak Ginger Green in it, so it's like, they're, they're special because they put honey crystals in their tea, and this one and that ginger lemon zest both had ginger honey crystals in it. If you know me, you know I love ginger, so I really enjoyed this one as well, and I just think the packaging is so cute, this little bumblebee box. So it's empty, but I can't bring myself to throw it out. Look at the little mama bee and baby bee there. Oh, they're so cute. And then they sent me a peppermint sweetened with honey crystals. My husband has gotten into this one and really is enjoying it as well. You always need those good basics, like a good peppermint, you know, like True Honey has really nice sort of basics that are pre-sweetened. So they're awesome for traveling. They're awesome for people who can't use liquid honey but like the taste of honey. Then this was their chai. I just, uh, I made a video where I tried it as a latte. It is loaded with star anise, so it tastes almost like a Thai iced tea the way I made it. I made it as an iced latte, and to me, it just reminded me of a Thai iced tea, so I love this one. And this last one from True Honey, I haven't had a chance to try yet, but they're tea K cups. This was how their brand started, was they started by um, making K cups with honey crystals and tea, and then they expanded out into making tea bags and things. So this is like the thing that started it all. And this is a peppermint tea. I've been meaning to bring this by my parents' house so I could try it in their Keurig machine because we don't have one here. 
So I'm so excited about these and I think my brother would really like them too. I just grabbed this one out of my P.O. box the other day and I'm really excited to try it. This is another brand from Instagram that reached out and the brand is called Skinny Tea Hub, but this is just a rose oolong tea. I'm going to be tasting this and doing a review of it, but you know, I never seek out skinny teas. I know that there are things about tea that can like supplement a weight loss journey, but as somebody who went through a weight loss journey, I think I lost like 25 pounds up until my wedding and then like the day my wedding was over I gained all of it back so I'm, I'm gonna be a person who will go through two weight loss journeys as soon as I um, feel like it again I guess but um, you know I think like there's no reason to worry about being skinny in my opinion um, of course if you want to achieve a certain aesthetic like that's fine do it but I've learned in my life that it's important to be happy no matter what you look like because in a moment everything can change you know like you never know um, what will happen so you all, you have to be happy no matter what you look like so I don't want to like promote like being skinny or like skinny tea because I don't I don't think that's important I think it's important to feel good feel healthy and love yourself no matter what happens you know beyond things like gaining weight there are things that could happen that'll make you look different and it's okay you know so i'm not that into like the skinny tea thing so i wasn't super sure about it when this brand reached out to me but i was like you know what i'm willing to give it a try i'm sort of curious to see what it is like thinking that they'd probably be like a traditional skinny tea company so i was kind of curious to like try it and share my experience with you guys and you know with a critical eye because I, I can't be anything but honest like I would never agree to something I couldn't be honest about so I was like you know what? I'm up for trying it but then they told me like oh good because we're gonna send you a rose oolong and I was like oh my god that's crazy I love I, I've tried David's teas rose oolong and I love that and oolong teas are some of my favorite kinds of teas of all time and this actually is just natural oolong tea and I'm, I'm really interested in trying this and sort of learning about why this is like a skinny tea because I drink oolong all the time and <laughs> unfortunately it hasn't uh, really helped my weight loss journey. The one thing I will say that did was matcha. When I was drinking matcha every day, I definitely felt um, that it was helping me lose weight. but. I guess I've never really thought of oolong that way because I just love the taste so much. So I cannot wait to try this one with you guys on camera and see if it tastes as good as the rose oolong from David's Tea, but also to go on their website and see like what makes this a skinny tea, like what that really means, I guess. So I, I'm really interested to try this and excited because I bet I'll like it because it's a rose oolong. My husband ordered some things on Amazon. Oh, I wanted to show you my cup as well. Give me a second. Today is Sunday and Gerald just stepped out to like go to the store. I've been having a lot of trouble getting back out in public um, since I'm no longer used to that kind of stimulation. So he decided uh, to go run some errands without me on a Sunday, but we've already had a really fun day. We took some really cool photos and then we went to the park and took some cool tea photos. So I have some photos of my face on my personal Instagram and I have some cool new um, tea photos on my tea Instagram. But Gerald did a big like Amazon order. He needed some things. And so he asked me like, is there anything you want? I'm happy to uh, treat you a little bit. And I was like, you know, there is something. I've been looking for a clear glass mug. Um, as you know, this is the one I always use. It's the David's Tea Nordic Weave. But I've been looking for more, especially now that I'm taking so many photos of tea. I like to have different shapes and sizes of cups to take photos. So he bought me this set of two clear glass cups. This one is the brand Tilir. Tilira, I think it's called. And I honestly thought it was going to be a little bigger than it is, but it came with these two little like glass saucers, which I think are so cute. And then two of these little cups. And I did think that they were going to be like bigger, but uh, they're just really like sweet and little and cute. And I love them. So I have a, I have a second one of those too. It came in a set. So I'll link those below. Anything I can, I will link for you guys. And then 
We decided to buy some boba so we can make some boba teas. I've made them before and they're a lot easier than I imagined they would be. Um, it's really easy to make the boba. You just boil it like pasta basically. And there's this channel I follow here on YouTube called uh, Honeysuckle and she posted two videos now of really awesome boba recipes. So I thought I'd try some of hers with these. And then I needed some chamomile. So he bought me this giant bag of chamomile. So I wanna put the chamomile in this purple tin. This tin does have some like residue on it. So once this bag is empty, I'm gonna cut out this part that says chamomile and tape it on to the tin so it has a label. But I don't think it's all going to fit. And this is four ounces, but it's huge. This tin at David's Tea was known as the four ounce tin, but chamomile is so fluffy and weighs so little that four ounces looks like this next to the, the four ounce tin. Also, I grabbed a spoon because I can pretend I still work at David's Tea by scooping into the tin and it'll be fun. <laughs> so this is just like a basic plain chamomile, mm, but it's like whole. I really don't like when I buy like uh, some sort of chamomile and it's like ground, like it's tiny little pieces. I don't like that. I like to have the whole flowers because they're so pretty. And I just find that it tastes better. Yeah, this, uh, this motion brings back a lot of memories, like scooping tea into tins and making conversation and talking about how good the tea smells. I'm really sad about the David's Tea closing. I feel like I could, I could probably talk about it forever. I drove past my old David's Tea, or like Gerald drove me past it um, twice now. And you just see like all the stuff pushed to the front of the store, the tea wall is all empty and I haven't like stopped and walked past and got like a really good close look, but yeah, it's sad. It's sad that it's closed. So many good memories there, you know? Yeah, as we get towards the bottom of the bag, we are getting more of that sort of just like the petals, sort of what I was talking about, how it's like in tiny little pieces, but the majority of it is like big, like actual flowers. Yeah, I've really missed chamomile. I just finished my honey lullaby from David's Tea and that was discontinued. It's been discontinued forever, so I'm not going to ever be able to get any more of that, and that breaks my heart, because I loved that tea. Regular chamomile for the time being, and here is our full tin, and I still have this much, so it's more than half, I think. So I have enough chamomile to last me a very, very long time. Thanks to my husband, I'm so grateful. Let's move on to the David's tea part. This tea I actually traded with somebody. This is Jasmine Creme Brulee. I had some tins to get rid of and there is a David's Tea like buy, sell, trade group on Facebook. So I posted in there that I had tins and that I was looking to do a trade and I listed like all these teas I was like looking for. Like I put all the names of all the teas like I would accept as a trade. And a girl messaged me and was like, I don't have any of those, but I do have some that I think you'd like. And I was like, okay, what are they? What do you got? And she had Jasmine Creme Brulee. And I was like, oh my God, I forgot all about that tea. So I accepted it. <laughs> so this one is, it says rich and creamy with a delicate hint of Jasmine. This decadent tea tastes just like a Creme Brulee right down to the crunchy sugar topping. And it's apple, jasmine tea, rose hips, pineapple, sweet blackberry leaves, marigold flowers, and natural and artificial flavoring. And it's just so good. Like, it really does, it's like a floral creme brulee. And I think this was originally part of the David's Tea Macaron collection. So this, again, brings back a good memory. And let's see, what tin should I put it in? I always put like my favorite ones in this tin, so I might use this one. So I can just dump it all right in. Oh, it smells so good. Smells are so nostalgic, especially from David's Tea. 
And now this gin is full again and ready to be drank through. And then I got me some milk oolong because I ran out of that. And my usual blue tin for my oolong, I have another tea in there right now because I transferred everything from bags to tins. I'm gonna put it in this sheep tin. To be honest, I don't like the sheep at all. I don't know why, but I just don't think they're cute. I know a lot of people like them, but personally I don't. So I always display the tin like this. So it looks like just this pretty like robin's egg blue tin. The a milk oolong is just like a, it's a straight oolong, but it has like a milky flavor to it. So I really love it. I do want to try some milk oolongs from other brands. So I'm open to suggestions if anyone knows any really good ones, but I know I love the David's tea one and I was making the order anyway. So So I just scooped up this one again, but into the tin it goes. So good. I always do, um, for my free reward, I always get my oolongs because they're expensive, but I haven't shopped in so long that I didn't have any rewards. And now I do though, because of how much I spent. So now next time I have um, a reward. Okay, last one that needs a tin and last tin is I have this heart one from Valentine's Day and this is David's Tea's Moroccan Mint. This was part of the collection for, it was the feel good collection, the January after, like the January that I worked there, I guess. And it was this really cool, like, I remember there were like elephants and these ceramic jars were from that collection, but it was just this really cool, uh, like Moroccan inspired collection that I really enjoyed, but it had really awesome teas in it. And Moroccan mint, I actually thought I wasn't gonna be able to get David's teas Moroccan mint ever again because it's been discontinued so long but it's an organic green tea and it just has peppermint and spearmint. So it's really simple. I think it's actually a gunpowder green tea if I remember correctly. I missed this so much. I'll pour it in the tin and then show you because that opening is a little easier to uh, show through. And it's pretty fluffy too because it has the peppermint and spearmint leaves which are really nice and voluminous. But here's how it looks. And I do believe that that is um, the gunpowder green tea. So it's like they're rolled up into like a little ball, like an oolong. So here's how they look. And it has sort of a darker, more smokier flavor and not so like vegetal, like a lot of green teas are. Mm, oh, I can't wait to drink this in the morning again. It's like so refreshing. Like it really like gets your day started on a good note. But for now, this one and my morning tea has been zestfully green. Another one from that same collection as Moroccan Mint. So what are the odds that they bring back two of my favorites from that collection? It makes me so happy. This one is really just right up my alley. And it's funny because when I was looking to trade teas, uh, tins for teas, I thought about this tea. I'm like, what are the odds anyone would have that? But I know sometimes people buy things, they try it and they don't really like it. So it just sits in their tea cupboard forever. So I was like, hmm, what was that called? And I remembered Zestfully Green. I ended up not trading for it, but then I went online to make my David's tea order and it was back. And I'm like, wow, I like manifested that. Like I was so happy, but this is like a matcha dusted tea. So if you see like in the bottom here, there's some matcha like settled down there. So you're getting like even more antioxidants and it just has every ingredient I love. It's ginger, green tea, apple, licorice root, orange peel, sweet blackberry leaves, matcha green tea, and natural lemon flavoring. It's kind of similar to the sweet ginger heat, but honestly like version 2.0 because it's dusted with matcha. And I've already drank most of it. I am down to here. So I'm probably gonna wanna buy more, but I'm gonna switch over after I finish this. I'm gonna have my next morning tea be either the Moroccan mint or the jasmine creme brulee, drink through those, and then I can buy another. I'm not doing what I used to do or I'm just gonna keep buying tea and buying tea. I'm gonna really like pace myself and act like a grown up and be more responsible 
about the tea that I accumulate. My husband's request was to refill our tin of forever nuts. We have only enough for like two teas left. So he asked that I buy some to refill it. And the cheapest way to buy it was in this like special tin. So I'm actually gonna empty out the tin and put it in here. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna stick the bag in there though so I finish off the oldest first because it just comes in like a bag like that. Forever Nuts is uh, David's Tea's most popular tea and to me it tastes like a cinnamon roll in a cup. A lot of people say that it tastes like those Christmas almonds, like when you're walking around a Christmas market and you smell those like cinnamony toasted almonds, like it's sort of like that kind of vibe. It's really good and even better, it steeps pink because it has beetroot in it. So needless to say, it makes the world's prettiest latte. And then this tin, I don't really know what I'll do with it. I found a free cycle group on Facebook as well, where you can post things that you wanna like give away for free. People all claimed my colored tins right away on the David's Tea Buy Sell Trade. But then I had like a couple tinzillas and like little tins that were like, that I drank through of like small teas from sample sets that nobody wanted. So I posted it in the free cycle group and a lady claimed them right away and came in and uh, took them off my hands for me. I also had this red teapot that I actually acquired for free on a free garbage day. They had like a day where it was free to put out any garbage you want. Like people where I live, when there's a free garbage day, they expect people to kind of like shop their garbage. So they'll put out like really good things just on the curb for people to take. And then the next day, whatever wasn't taken, will go to the landfill. So we were lucky enough to be driving and we saw a lady bringing out a red teapot. And I was like, I'm gonna see if I can have that for some Instagram photos. So she gave it to me, but um, you know, it's not really my style to like stay on my wall or like to have permanently. So I took some pictures and there was like a little chip in the lid and that's why she was getting rid of it. And I, I just wasn't gonna use it. I don't use a lot of teapots except for in pictures. And I didn't wanna sell it because it was like chipped and it was damaged. So I listed that up with those tins on the free cycle website and a lady was really happy to take all of that off my hands. And I was happy to brighten her day by being able to give her some things that she wanted, that she had use for. There's this YouTuber called Shellbizzle and I really like her videos. She considers herself an eco-minimalist. She sort of like coined that term. And she was talking in a video she did pretty recently. It was like weird things I do to help the environment. It was called something like that. And she was saying how she never like donates anything or gets rid of anything like without, like she always for everything she gets rid of, find somebody to take it. When she moved into her new house, like the previous owners left like some tiles there. And instead of just like throwing them away or donating them, she found a new home for them. Like she found, I don't know how she found them, but you know, through like a free cycle site or something, found somebody who had use for them because that guarantees, or it at least like, is like a sort of safer step than just donating them to like a thrift store because you don't know if it'll ever get bought, like it could still end up in the landfill that way. So actually the best thing to do if you can't sell something is to give it away to someone who like has use for it. So I really like the free cycle group because that way like I don't have to throw things away or donate them to a place that might throw it away. You know, if they got a teapot with a chipped lid, they might be like, oh, this is trash and throw it out just like the first lady was going to. So I was so happy, that's such a long story to say, I was so happy to find a lady who was happy to take some of my empty old tea tins and this cute red teapot off my hands and I hope they're living their best life with her and I hope uh, I hope it's all going well. So last two teas are ones that I bought to review. My David's Tea reviews are coming back with a vengeance because I got this one, Organic Mint Olympus, which is an herbal tea. And I'm really curious about it because I've never heard of mountain tea before, but this is like a blend with mountain tea so i'm really excited for that again it's like it's really fluffy so the bag is bigger like this is two ounces and this is also two ounces but 
it's very voluminous. So if this was the good old days where I could go into the David's Tea store, I probably would have only asked for like a half ounce of this, like a quarter size of this bag because I don't even know if I'm gonna like it. So we're gonna give this one a try together and that's gonna be fun. And then I bought this one, Eucalyptus Mint. This one is a green tea and it has aloe, cucumber, eucalyptus, peppermint. So I think I'm gonna enjoy this one. It sounds like right up my alley, honestly. It has that licorice root, has those like clean herby flavors and like the mint and like refreshing flavors. So I, I have a feeling I'm gonna like this. So that is everything I've acquired recently. And I'd like to say, as far as tea, this is everything I've acquired recently, but I haven't bought barely anything this whole quarantine because we haven't been physically going into shops and I've never been much of an online shopper so definitely saving some money and that feels good and you know clearing out clutter every weekend we've been clearing things out because a year from now we're going to be moving to Florida so the more we do now the less we'll have to do as we get closer and I'm so excited that I have some of my favorite teas back in my life and I can't wait to try these new ones on camera with you guys and I hope you are all staying safe and healthy I hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video thanks for watching <laughs>